Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon, salam sejahtera bagi kita semua Well class, today we are having uh, reading comprehension reading for, uh, yeah, reading for class And uh, today we are discussing about unit 8 This is about N And I want you to listen to the uh, reading first of all what I am you what I want you to listen to is not from my own voice but I'm going to uh, show you the machine I'm going to uh, ask you to listen to the uh, machine voice okay here we go about air right ants are insects like other insects, they have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Their three pairs of legs are jointed. They have antennae to help them sense things. Ants belong to a group of insects that includes bees and wasps. This group of insects has been antennae and mouths made to chew things. They have indented abdomens. This makes them look like they have a narrow waist. Ants are social animals. They live in colonies. Each ant colony has a queen and her children. The females are the workers. The worker ants have special jobs. Many look for food. Others build the nest. Some take the nest from danger. Only a very few of the children are male. Their only job is to mate with the queen. The queen's job is to produce new baby ants. Ants communicate with each other. They use chemical scents from their bodies to pass on messages. They can alert others to danger. They can guide each other to food. This is why we see long lines of ants leading away from a nest. Ants mark the boundaries of their colony. They even use scent to tell where a colony member has died. When a dead ant is discovered, it is carried outside. Ants are important to take the habitats where they live. Many dig under the ground. This breaks up the soil and brings air and water to the roots of plants. Some ants move seeds around. This helps plants grow in new places. Some ants feed on other insect pets. Ants are also a source of food for other animals. Yeah, so this is the picture of fan. Uh, I think after reading this uh, passage, I hope everybody will understand about the content. Right, um, after understanding the text, I want you uh, to do these vocabulary exercise and sentences right the first one is drawing a line uh, make sure that you have to match this vocabulary number for example thorax yeah what does uh, thorax mean so you have to match number one with uh, point a b c d or f okay Let's say, for example, thorax. The answer is A. You have to uh, make a line, or you can, what is it? Uh, you can draw a line, or you can write uh, parenthesis, and inside the parenthesis is A, B, C, or D, right? Okay, and then the next one is uh, use the vocabulary words from above to complete sentences. So you have many words here many new vocabulary words for you you might think new and then you have to complete these uh, sentences with the new vocabulary words you have already okay there it is so the total number of items here all together are 16 make sure that you can do all right and the last exercise is on summarizing idea so in summarizing idea you have to write the choices i mean uh, summarize which which one do you think is uh, true based on the text you have read like number one for example this is the tag and then the summary there are two uh, two choices here which one which choice do you think is the best answer Number two, uh huh, and the like. Okay, so this is write the sentence choice that form the main idea for each paragraph. Got it, class? Right? Okay, 
I think that's all for today for reading comprehension 4 hopefully everyone is good thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh goodbye and salam sejahtera bagi kita semua